Marc Marquez, a name synonymous with dominance in MotoGP, shocked the MotoGP world in 2024 by making the bold decision to leave Honda, his team for nearly a decade, and sign with Ducati. This was a seismic shift for the racing world, as Marquez had achieved unparalleled success with Honda, winning multiple world championships and becoming a legend in the sport. But after years of injury struggles and a lack of competitive performance from Honda, was this switch the right call for Marquez's future in MotoGP? Was this move a game changer or just a short-term fix for a rider whose best years might be behind him? Marc Marquez joined the Repsol Honda team in 2013, stepping into the shoes of the legendary Casey Stoner. From his very first season, Marquez made an indelible mark on MotoGP. He won his inaugural race at the Circuit of the Americas, becoming the youngest rider to win a Premier Class race at just 20 years and 63 days old. His rookie year culminated in a World Championship title, a feat that had not been accomplished since Kenny Roberts in 1978. Marquez's decision to leave Honda, a team with whom he had built a dynasty, marks a crucial turning point in his career. From 2013 to 2019, Marquez was virtually untouchable, claiming six MotoGP World Championships, 59 Premier Class wins, 101 podiums, and 64 pole positions. However, his momentum came to a halt after a series of devastating injuries, including a shoulder problem and a broken arm, leading to struggles on the track and a battle to find a bike that suited his aggressive riding style. This created a difficult reality for the legendary rider. Despite his immense talent, he was no longer able to extract the performance he once did from Honda's machine. So, after years of battling physical pain and a lackluster bike, what led him to Ducati? Marc Marquez's decision to leave Honda wasn't taken lightly, especially given the history he had with the team. He was Honda's golden child, the rider who helped them dominate the championship for nearly a decade. However, several factors made this move inevitable. First, the physical toll of his injuries, combined with Honda's inability to produce a competitive bike in recent seasons, left Marquez in a difficult position. The Honda RC213V, while once dominant, had fallen behind Ducati's superior handling and engine performance, especially on the straights. In interviews, Marquez hinted at frustrations with Honda's lack of progress, particularly regarding their reluctance to adapt their bike to his unique riding style. With Ducati enjoying significant success in recent years, including winning multiple constructors' championships and having top riders like Francesco Bagnaia dominating the sport, Ducati presented a tempting opportunity. Marquez, driven by a desire to prove that he could still be the best, saw the Ducati switch as a chance to rejuvenate his career and compete for championships again. Ducati's appeal was clear. The Italian manufacturer had been on the rise in MotoGP, with their Desmo Sedici GP bike proving to be one of the fastest and most competitive in the paddock. Ducati's success wasn't just about speed, but also about their willingness to innovate and adapt, making the bike more suited to different riding styles. This offered Marquez a fresh challenge. Where Honda was struggling to provide a competitive package, Ducati was the complete opposite, offering top-tier performance, a strong team, and a new, exciting environment for Marquez. The change was seen as a significant opportunity for Marquez to showcase his skill on a bike that was designed to be faster and more adaptable to different riders. After years of battling injuries and frustration with Honda's unwillingness to adapt to his needs, Ducati's willingness to innovate made them an ideal fit for the Spaniard. But would the change be enough to reignite Marquez's career? Marquez's switch to Ducati wasn't a seamless transition. The start of the 2024 season revealed the challenges he faced in adapting to his new machine. Ducati's bike was significantly different from the Honda he had ridden for so long, particularly in terms of handling and cornering characteristics. Marquez, known for his aggressive riding style, had to recalibrate his approach to suit the Ducati Desmo Sedici, a bike that required a slightly more precise and smooth approach to unlock its full potential. In the opening races, Marquez showed flashes of his former brilliance, but also struggled to keep up with his teammate and other top competitors. Despite Ducati's bike being faster on paper, Marquez's lack of familiarity with the machine showed, as he faced difficulties with balance and cornering speed. 
Early in the season, he found himself consistently finishing behind his teammate, Francesco Bagnaia, and other top contenders. By the middle of the 2024 season, Marquez began to show significant improvement. His performances gradually became more consistent as he adapted to the Ducati bike. A few podium finishes and improved lap times showcased Marquez's ability to unlock the potential of his new machine. Though still trailing Bagnaia and other top riders, Marquez began to find his rhythm, and his trademark aggression and racecraft started to shine through. The Ducati team's support and Marquez's growing comfort with the bike allowed him to fight for podiums and maintain a competitive edge. Marquez's adaptability and skill were on full display, and he was increasingly able to challenge the frontrunners, proving that he still had what it took to be a championship contender. At the end of the 2024 season, Marquez's results were a mixed bag. While not quite matching the success he had enjoyed at Honda, his performance on the Ducati Desmosedici was an improvement compared to his previous seasons. He finished the year with several podiums and a few race wins, but still far from the top spot in the standings. While Marquez's results were commendable given the circumstances, they also highlighted the tough competition in MotoGP and the gap that still existed between him and Ducati's top rider Bagnaia. When compared to his performances at Honda, Marquez's move to Ducati proved to be a step forward, but not necessarily a giant leap. While it gave him a competitive bike, Marquez was still not consistently fighting for championships, a reality he had grown accustomed to during his glory years at Honda. One of the key aspects of Marquez's move to Ducati was his ability to fit into the team. Ducati's engineers worked closely with Marquez to fine-tune the Desmo Sedici to suit his needs, especially after years of Honda's more rigid approach to bike development. Marquez's vast experience and feedback proved invaluable, and he quickly developed a strong working relationship with the Ducati team. While the bike changes were significant, the support from Ducati's engineers helped Marquez adapt quickly, allowing him to get the most out of the Ducati platform. As the season progressed, the team showed increased confidence in Marquez's ability to extract the best performance from the bike. Looking back at the 2024 season, Marquez's decision to move to Ducati was both a success and a challenge. On one hand, he showed his adaptability by improving with the Ducati bike and securing podium finishes. On the other hand, he faced several hurdles, including adapting to the bike's unique characteristics and the stiff competition in MotoGP. His results, while good, were far from the dominance he once showed at Honda, and it was clear that the gap between him and the championship contenders was still significant. While his results weren't earth-shattering, the season showed that Marquez still had the fire and skill to compete at the highest level. His career might have been hampered by injuries, but he had not lost his touch. His future in MotoGP now seemed to rest on his ability to continue adapting to Ducati's evolving bike and whether he could close the gap to the top riders. As Marquez looks ahead to the 2025 season, there's much to be optimistic about. Ducati has been a top-performing team, and with Marquez's increased familiarity with the bike, he could be in a much stronger position next season. His experience with Ducati's engineers and his growing comfort on the bike could lead to stronger performances and possibly even more podiums. Given the competitive nature of MotoGP, it's clear that Marquez is still a contender for the championship. His talent and determination are undeniable, and with Ducati's continued development, he could challenge for titles once again. However, the fierce competition from riders like Banyaya and others means that Marquez will need to stay at the top of his game if he is to compete for championships in the coming years. So, was Marc Marquez's move to Ducati the right decision? In many ways, yes. While it wasn't the immediate championship success many hoped for, the switch allowed Marquez to rediscover his form and adapt to a new challenge. As he continues to gel with Ducati's bike and team, his chances of returning to the top of MotoGP look more promising than ever. The 2024 season was just the beginning, and Marquez has the potential to become a title contender once again. This move might just be the fresh start he needed, and the future holds plenty of promise for the legendary rider. Thanks for tuning in to our deep dive on Marc Marquez's big move to Ducati. If you enjoyed this breakdown and want more insights on MotoGP and other racing legends, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And hey, give us a thumbs up if you're as excited as we are to see what Marquez will bring to the track next season.